Hello, welcome to Tips and Tricks with Lynn. I'm hoping to spend the next minute or maybe two with you sharing with you some great technique that's hopefully going to make your everyday drying life just a little bit better. And today we're going to talk about the F1 key. Now, how many times have you reached over to hit escape and uh, hit the F1 key by accident, which launches you into help, which takes about an hour to get out of, right? At least it feels that way. Very, very frustrating. Well, I've even had some people come up to me and tell me that they physically removed the F1 key from their keyboard. Well, there's no need to do that. I'm going to show you a much easier way to take control of the F1 key and convert it to something that's a little more friendly. So to do that, we're going to go into the CUI command. If you go to the upper left-hand corner, you'll see there's an option here for keyboard shortcuts. And we're going to open up where it says shortcut keys. Now the first thing that we want to do is we want to make sure that we have the command that we want to assign to F1 in this list up here. Well, why not assign it to escape? Because that's what we're trying to hit anyway. That's what we're accidentally missing. So let's go ahead and pull the escape command up underneath shortcut keys. But just so you know, in AutoCAD terms, AutoCAD doesn't call escape escape. It calls it cancel. So we're going to come down here and try to find the cancel command. I'm going to key in the letter C. This takes me right down to all of the commands that start with the letter C. A nice little shortcut for you there. There's cancel. Let's take that and drag it up right under, somewhere underneath the shortcut keys. It doesn't really matter where it lands. Okay, here's cancel. If you look in the lower right hand corner, you will see when I select it that there is no key assigned to cancel, which we know isn't true. We know that escape happens to be one of the keys that's assigned to cancel, but that's okay. We're going to come over here and hit the ellipses, and very simply, all I have to do is physically hit the F1 key. It tells me right now that's unassigned. Uh, I know that's not true. We know that F1 currently is assigned to help, so that's a lie, but just ignore that and hit an OK. And now, from this day forward, anytime you accidentally hit F1, I promise you it will do an escape. You're going to love that. Now, make sure that you hit an OK to save that great change. And that concludes my tip. So thank you for joining Tips and Tricks with Lynn. And I hope that this made you just a little bit more productive. Thank you.